Welcome to Indie Dreams, a show for up and coming artists and entrepreneurs. I'm here with Giggles. Hi. Giggles Star. Yes. And uh, she is a female MC. And she's in the era where the up and coming artists, it's a struggle to become known in the field of hip hop. So, what do you think about that? Um, I, well, I think that the up and coming struggles with females is because the industry is very male dominated. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and a lot of the times I feel as though when they do the representation of, you know, both uh, as a, you know, as a model or representation, um, the, the guys are always like sharp edge, mm -hmm. but the females, they, they take forever to build the females up. Um, right. So they do. So I just feel like that's what's going on in hip hop. They're just looking for that right one. Mm -hmm. They're looking for the right one. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're um, when Nicki Minaj and we had artists. We noticed for decades that she had no competition at all. Mm -hmm. So you think that's the reason why? Um, I mean, I don't really. Even though they are females in hip hop that are, um, you know, breaking the, um, you know, that cycle of, of them not having many females in the industry, I do feel as though I don't have any competition. Like, mm -hmm. I, I feel as though a lot of the artists that are in my era, um, they kind of all waiting for me to come out. So that's why, like, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm just out and about. Like, okay. So giggles. Where are you from? I'm originally from Newark. Mm -hmm. um, however, I am Haitian American. Shout out to Newark. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yourselves. Okay. Are you? Um, is your identity? Are you um, a lot in your in your art or your rapping? Do you? Uh, do you generally talk a lot about your Haitian identity in it or? Um, it took me some time to actually talk about my Haitian identity, just due to the fact that the culture is different. Mm -hmm. um, so um, and they're more traditional, so they're not used to like the the abnormal colors. They're not used to the um, you know some of you know how people go about you know how people is how they are in hip hop or how the American culture is. So it was a struggle at first. Okay, so how long have you been rapping? I've been rapping since I was in high school, but I just started taking it very very serious about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what happened two years ago that made you decide that you wanted to become an artist? Um, uh, me being an artist had nothing to do with me getting into the uh, promoting um, business. Like I was a, I became a promoter, um, promoting, um, you know, the, the whole hosting and the clubs and um, and I was just doing that to uh, promote myself as an artist, and I was getting really, really good feedback. But when I, when I, as when I was taking it serious, that's when I was like on the ground every day, like Beyonce status, like <laughs> every day have to be at a show or interview or doing something. So um, when I got into that, um, I just loved the work ethics and the and the drive it takes to 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 be an entrepreneur and set these things up through being an artist. So I fell in love with that and. I just started taking it more serious. Okay, who are some of the artists that you've worked with? Some of the radio stations? Maybe you have any record labels looking at you? Um, I, I've worked with WRMV Radio. I've worked with Views from the Bottle when, um, you know, the original um, Jonas was there. I've worked, I'm working on my new project with Norm Breeze. Shout out to Free Swag Entertainment. I'll be working with um, uh, Nino S A B, um, you know, just a little sprinkle here and there in Jersey, New York. Okay. Um, with J Cole and Drake, you notice a lot of times they score number one albums, mm -hmm. and it's hard for women to break in the industry. I mean, Cardi B now, you know, thanks to her lately, she's been um, breaking through a lot. She had instant fame. What do you think about that? Um, well, with well with Cardi B, um, you know, um, I feel as though Cardi B, she she definitely started the new trend of females, um, mm -hmm. you know, being rappers. So now I just feel like there's like a rush in the industry to find a you know female yeah. rappers, and um, you know I do look forward to seeing if Cardi B can take her transition, and you know uh, have flows or similar work ethics close to, um, you know, 
writers like J. Cole and um, Drake because they, they, they are also phenomenal too, but at the same time, they also have their own lane. Right. So, you know, this, that's going to be fun to say. <laughs> yeah, it definitely will be. Um, how do you feel about about being called a female MC? Um, being how I feel about being called the female MC, sometimes it makes me feel as though I have to work ten times harder as the guy that's in already, you know, that's in the rap game because they kind of separate, you know, females in the game. Like, so it makes me feel as though I have to work harder. Work harder. Mm -hmm. um, what is your daily grind like? Um, my daily grind when I'm, you know, up and going is usually like two or three you know, or more things that are artistic and it's just, it doesn't have to just be with rapping, it could be with, you know, anything with art when it comes to like visuals or um, routines or um, just being in depth into the project, um, like behind the scenes as well. Um, lately I've been more chill because I am preparing to drop, you know, either EP or mixtape and to get back on the road again, so that's what, you know, my day's like. And you said EPR mixing? Yeah. Okay, explain that. What is that about? What's going on? Um, so we, we have a body of work. It's just that um, a lot of the time rappers feel as though you need a whole bunch of songs out there to, mm -hmm. to show, um, you know, to, you know, to just get that status of popularity that you're looking for. However, I'm more so about like, it's more about the quality not the quantity so um just as though like we have females in hip-hop or just people in general who know how to make the that single that hit mm -hmm. and that's what i'm um that's what i'm looking for to you know to have a a great body of work right so um that's quality over quantity yeah mm -hmm. so that's what i'm like looking for when it comes to the music and the difference between the ep and the mixtape process okay so that's your future plans in the industry. That's what are that what you're working on currently. Yeah, that is my short goal plan. We are trying to aim for 420 for the mixtape or EP to be released. And where would they find that if for the viewers? Where would they find that mixtape? They would find it on uh, Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. Um, yeah, the, those those social media networks. Okay. Um, from your music, which one of your favorite is your favorite? Okay, um, Double Shots is definitely my favorite, and um, my new single now, Checks, is my favorite. Checks? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I did hear that. I heard the Double Shots. I actually like that. Mm -hmm. I noticed then um, I put the, the actually, the um, the song on my page. So. All right, thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> Shout outs to yeah, you. Yeah, good. And you know, you remind me a little bit, not to compare any of artists, mm -hmm. but you remind me of Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Have you? Um, yeah, I get that. I get that a lot. I, mm -hmm. uh, last year when I was doing the, um, you know, the, the little tour, the little um, promo tour, mm -hmm. I did get that a lot. I, sometimes I do feel as though it's cliche, but at the same time, I'm I'm glad that I'm compared to a great legend. Uh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially, I, hate, I mean, I know we don't want to separate it, but she's been doing it for the females. So. Right. She has been. Yeah. She has been. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Nicki. <laughs> And also, is she actually one of your inspirations at all? Yeah, she um yeah she definitely is. She definitely changed the um the level of of work ethics in the industry, and and I'm glad um Chance the Rapper even got a chance to pay homage to her as he won one of his recent um Emmy or Grammy awards. So that's, yeah, she's definitely a great influence for me. So what are your biggest fears in the industry? My biggest fears in the industry is um not successfully getting the five year planned and you know done like fulfilled done the way that it needs to be mm -hmm. so that would be like my biggest fear yeah um, okay so who would to honestly like who would be the best i guess like a um group or a battle between two female mcs who do you think would be great together i think eve and trina Oh yeah, well definitely. That's you know. I, I yeah. wonder how they would. Well, that'd be good. Uh, who? What do you think? Or what do you hate about hip hop today? Um, the only thing I don't like about hip hop is that it's associated with drugs. 
Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm glad that Trina, because she is one of my favorite rappers before the whole Nicki um, generation, the whole Bobs came out. Um, even Trina was one of my favorites. So I'm glad that Trina's back. And she was just saying that, like, you know, sometimes in the industry, like, females are not prone or it's not cute or classy for a female, you know, to expose that she might, you know, be into drinking or might that she might be into smoking. So that's, you know, the fact that hip hop is related to like, you know, drugs and, and it's so hardcore because it really is about like the, you know, what people go through in the hood and, mm -hmm. you know, certain things that they have to see in the hood. That That's the only thing I don't like about hip hop. Right, and what they talk about and how they influence children, mm -hmm. how they influence... Because I notice, I hear a lot of kids talking about, they know, even 10-year-olds, they know everything about what type of drugs, they know about mollies, they know mm -hmm. about, you know, and it is, and it's hard to see, you, you want to see that uh, an artist that puts out positive influence and positive messages, and it's kind of hard to, yeah, to find an artist like that. It really is, so, um... I mean, but then at the same time, too, it's very controversial as well. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, do you have any positive uh, a positive message for your community or for your thing? Oh, yeah. Always go hard for what you're passionate about and your dreams. Um, it's, it's such a thrill to always be in the essence of it all. So, yeah, definitely. That, that's the positive that I put out in my music, to just go hard. All right. And, um... I often notice that being a female in the industry, you it's hard to distinguish between who's really there for you, especially when you're working with men. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, um, I notice like sometimes if you ask them if you're paying or you're doing certain things, men want something and it you know it, mm -hmm. they want something from mm -hmm. it. And it's not always business. It's not always business professional. Mm -hmm. What type of advice can you give for women who are in that type of situation? Like you kinda have to figure out who's really there and who's not, you know? Yeah, um, you definitely go through struggles like that um, uh, with, you know, men um, trying to go outside of what what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I would just, for any advice, I would just say, um, you know, just be firm about what you're asking for and if it can't, you know, be done, you know, you just, you, you just run on the options as, as an artist or more so an entrepreneur, you, you find out and you see the ways of, you know, um, if somebody can't do something, you just have a wide network of people that, you know, cause that you can hire for different shifts or different, you know, positions. So, if that, you know, that person can't, can't do what needs to be done, you can always hire somebody else. <laughs> exactly. But where can, where can uh, viewers find you? Viewers can find my music on SoundCloud, they can find my vlogs and my music on YouTube and um, you know, just and on Instagram and Twitter and um, you know, and more to come. <laughs> well thanks for, for coming in today mm -hmm. and um, hope everyone can show you some love. She's mm -hmm. doing her thing. Mm -hmm. So find her on SoundCloud and show her some support. And thanks for everyone. Thanks for showing. And also make sure that you catch the the um, the the video today on SOR Boss Women Inc. channel. Looking for some gold medals. What's the next stop on the hit list? Watch how they hate on greatness. Double shots in my cup. Double shots in my cup.